Well, last time we talked about the 10 films of 2024 that'll be great, and now it's time to talk about the ones that will suck complete ass. These are the 10 2024 films that I can almost guarantee will suck. Now, could these movies be good? Now, some of them, but there are a couple on here I guarantee will be bad. So, before I get into it, I want to give a quick honorable mention, and the only reason it's not on the list is because it's a fan film, and that's The People's Joker. If you don't know what this is, look it up, because I'm not going to go very deep into it, but it's some stupid fan film where it's basically retelling the Joker movie with the teenage trans story or some shit, I don't know, but I felt the need to put it on here anyway. But, nevertheless, let's get into the real list, and starting it off... You all know what it has to be. I did a whole video on it, and it's the American Society of Magical Negroes. How do pe how do some people how did the people who made this movie, I should say, not see this as racist? Oh, I know why, because it's making fun of white people, and as long as you don't make fun of a minority group, it's not racist, right? Right? Wrong. Fuck you. This is one of the most racist movies I've ever seen, or not I've ever seen, or one of the, this is guaranteed to be one of the most racist movies ever put out of Hollywood, or really anywhere, actually, where it's an entire story about magical black people, were, do, I guess, being guardian angels or some shit, kind of, to make white people's lives easier because white people are the most dangerous, uncomfortable white people are some of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Fuck yourself and go to hell, you assholes who made this piece of shit. I've even seen minorities say, this is racist, what the fuck is wrong with Hollywood? So, yeah, that's all you need to know. This movie's gonna suck ass. I might not even see this. I might just rant. I might do what I did with Cuties and rant about why I didn't see it. We'll have to find out when the movie comes out next month. Next up is Rebel Moon the Scar Giver, and once again, this one's kind of a given. Part 1 was complete trash, and I don't really like any Zack Snyder film, not to mention he's kind of a pretentious douchebag, so I don't really want to like any of his films, and his fans are some of the most intoxic, entitled people on the internet. Although they have recently been surpassed by Percy Jackson, so props, you're in second place now for the most unlikable fan base in the world. Next up is Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2, and once again, this is a sequel that is a sequel to an awful movie, and it's guaranteed to be just as bad. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a trailer for this yet. If we have gotten to a, a trailer for it, somebody will tell me. I may look it up after recording this, but what? But at this point, I don't think we have one. I've looked for one, and I haven't found one. But again, part the first one was just so bad. It was such an... And not just because it was shitting on one of my favorite childhood characters. It's It was just an awful movie. It was cheap. It was poorly shot. It was poorly acted. It was poorly written. Everything about it was stupid. And this one's gonna be just as bad. Now they're gonna ruin Tigger. Fuck you, Reese Frick Waterfield. Quit taking shit from the public domain. Next up is Mufasa the Lion King. And a lot of these I'm just now realizing are going to be bad because they're sequels to bad movies or because of the company. This is Disney. Do you expect- I don't expect Disney films to be good anymore. Live action, animated, sequel, remake, original film, or I should put that in air quotes, not a single movie they make anymore is original, but you know what I mean, when it's touted as an original film. None of them are good anymore. Unless they come out of Marvel, and with the only one that coming out of Marvel this year is Deadpool 3, which could actually be pretty awesome, but the rest of these are just going to be terrible. Muf Again, this is a prequel to a to a live-action piece-of-shit Lion King movie that nobody liked. I have not seen a single positive review of that anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. So why would you... I know it made a shitload of money, but do you expect a prequel to that to make as much money as that one or even come close to its numbers? I still don't understand how that movie made so much damn money. But it did, and now we get a shitty prequel to it before we get an Aladdin sequel. Which comes out next year, at least, in th it's supposed to come out next May, so hopefully we get that. Because that one I'm actually looking forward to, because I liked the first one, because it was good. Alright, next up is Madam Web. Oh, man. I've defended Sony's Spider-Man movies up to this point. I liked the Venom movies, I liked Morbius, and you know that Cr you might know that Craven the Hunter and Venom 3 were on my top 10 most anticipated. Craven the Hunter in particular, I'm very much looking forward to. That looks like it could be a damn fun movie. This looks awful. This is, looks like it's another girl power piece of shit movie like Ghostbusters 2016 or the Marvels. 
you can guarantee this will get a film face-off against the Marvels, or maybe I'll do it against 2016 Ghostbusters, who knows. But this looks straight up bad, not just because of that, but it just... One, they apparently said fuck the comics. Two, and the tracks to number two, where none of the characters act like their comic book counterparts. Three, this movie looks cheap as hell. And four, I have no fucking idea what's going on. The only thing I can tell is Ezekiel Sims, who is not a villain in the comics, is chasing down the spider women, and I guess Madam Web has to protect them. And, um, that's about it. And there's some weird time travel shenanigans going on that don't make any sense. This movie looks fucking awful. This might be the worst comic book film of the year, but we'll have to see. There's another one on this list. Oh, look at that. It's the next one up, and it's Joker Folie Do. I, I'm shit at French, so I don't know if I said that right. And I know this one's going to be a little controversial, but I fucking hated the Joker movie. I do not understand how that made a billion do I definitely don't understand how that made a billion dollars. What? There, I think that's the only Batman-related film to crack a billion... Actually, that's not true. The second Dark Knight movie and Dark Knight Rises did. Whatever. You get the point. How did that make a billion dollars? But two, I don't understand why people like that. That was... I hated it. I thought it was so bad. And I don't really care much about a sequel, especially with Lady Gaga being added as Harley Quinn and apparently it being a musical. I've seen how comic book fil films handle being a musical, and that was with the Marvels. Yeah... Pardon me for not being very excited about this. Next one up. Oh, and by the way, these aren't in order, except Magical Negroes is the worst one on here, so that was first. The rest of these, I just kind of threw on as I remembered them, because there's one way down here that should be higher up. Next up is Inside Out 2, for two specific reasons. One, again, I don't trust Disney or Pixar to make a good film anymore. And two... These idiots have already shown that they don't understand shit about psychology, even though this is a movie entirely about psychology, because anxiety is not an emotion. It's a reaction to stimuli. Or it is stimuli, however you want to put it. That's basically the same thing, but I'm putting it the same, or I'm putting it a different way. It's not an emotion, and that shows me that these people who made this movie all about psychology and everything never read a psychology textbook. Fucking wonderful. Next up is Wicked Part 1. <sighs> okay, this is going to be another controversial one, probably. But I don't care. Broadway movies are bad, usually. Hell, even Tick, Tick, Boom ended up being pretty good. I don't even know if that one ever made it to Broadway. I don't remember. I think Hairspray was good. And that was almost 20 years ago. And that's the only good one I can think of, because I've never seen Chicago, and I've heard that's good. But... Rent was awful. Dear Evan Hansen was awful. I'm blank. Mama Mia was awful. You, you get the point. I'm not going to go through every single bad Broadway movie because otherwise this video would be another half an hour long. But I just, and also I just don't really care about this musical. I, I've never seen it. I've seen Oz the Great and Powerful, but that's incredibly different. And honestly, I think that one might end up being the superior movie. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of Ariana Grande, so, and she's, like, the main, like, the secondary character. She's, uh, Glenda, is that her name? She's in this movie, and I don't really care much for her, so that's already a downgrade right there. Or not a downgrade, a, uh, a negative point in its favor. Let's put it that way. I can't think of the word I'm thinking of. Next one up is one that should have been higher, but I had completely forgotten about, even though I did a whole video on it, and that's Mickey's Mousetrap. If you didn't see my video on it, it's the public domain slasher film based on the original, like, black and white Mickey Mouse. Yes, really, and I don't even think it's the actual Mickey Mouse. I think it's just some dude in a shitty costume. And I don't mean, <laughs> like, a dude in the costume playing Mickey Mouse. I mean this movie is literally just a guy dressed up as Mickey Mouse killing people. I never thought I'd say this. Disney, just like with Winnie the Pooh, get the fucking rights back so we don't have to sit through more of these damn slasher movies. Maybe I'll do a film face-off of so this one versus Blood and Honey. Who knows? And finally, and this one's just kind of a... Actually, there's two more I want to talk about. First off is Mean Girls. Like, I don't really care much about the original movie. Uh, I think I saw it once, I don't remember much about it, but it's an adaptation of an adaptation, it's an adaptation of the musical version of it, and it's just a movie I don't really care much about, so I just decided to throw it on the list, but another one on here that I could put on is ISS, which is International Space Station, obviously, and... My, and again, this one isn't, like, there's a deep reason why I think this is going to be bad, like a lot of the Disney ones, is because Disney just has such a bad track record, or Magical Negroes, where it's just racist bullshit. This one, it just looks like a straight-up bad movie. 
There's nothing else to it. It just looks straight up awful. The acting is bad. The cinematography is lame. The idea is cool, but I can tell they're not going to take full advantage of it. And it looks like it was made on a cheap budget, too. So, yeah, I expect that one to be pretty bad. But... What, what do you guys think? What, what are some 2024 movies that you guys are absolutely dreading the release of? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.